Now, if Black Friday and Cyber Monday are a key part of your online sales strategy using e-commerce, you're going to need to make sure that when that time comes around, you have a platform that allows you to very easily scale and then scale back once that online sale has completed. Today, I'm going to take you through and show you how you could use Cloudways to do just that. Now, first of all, for clarity, this is a sponsored video by Cloudways, but as always, I'm not giving you any opinions. I'm simply going to demonstrate how you can set this up, how you can scale things and roll things back, and then you can make a more informed decision for yourself. So the first thing we're going to need to do if you're new to the working with the Cloudways platform is to spin up a server. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've logged into my Cloudways account, and as you can see, I'm in the standard dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and click on Add Server. Once we add server, we can then choose various different parameters. I'm going to assume that you don't currently have an online store. So I'm going to show you the whole process of setting up the server and how you can go ahead and install WooCommerce and WordPress. And if you are with Cloudways, how you can use Astra Pro for the first year for zero cost. If you want more information on that, there's a link in the description and in the corner right now to the video showing you how you can do it. So the first thing we need to do is choose what application we're going to set up. Now, an application is basically what software do you want to use. In our case, it's going to be WordPress and WooCommerce. So what we're going to do is click and you can see we can choose the option for version 6, multi-site, clean install, or what we want, WooCommerce. So let's go ahead, click on WooCommerce. We'll give this a name. We can name our server if we want to. So we're just going to call this my server. And if you want to group things together, if you have multiple projects on your same server setup, you can group those into a project folder. We're going to leave that as it is, though. Now, underneath, you can see we can choose what type of server do we want. We've got five to choose from. Each of these are cloud-based platforms that we can pick and choose. So we've got DigitalOcean, Vulture, and so on. For our example today, we're going to stick with DigitalOcean. But you can choose any of the other options. And you see, when you click on them, it'll show you the options underneath all the settings you have available. And down the bottom, you can see the pricing for that particular setup. So we're using DigitalOcean. The next thing we can do then is set our server size. And this is something we can increase and decrease as and when we need to. So it gives you that flexibility. For this example, let's start off with two gigabytes on the premium service. Now you can see this tells us, well, we recommend using a four gigabyte setup. And we'll take a look at how we can scale up to that. But to keep costs down while we set things up, make sure that we've got a store set up and ready for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, or maybe migrate our existing store over to Cloudways, we can keep the cost down to start off with. So with that in place, you can see the final thing we need to do is choose the location of our servers. There's a range of different locations we can pick and choose from. Now, the thing I would suggest you is either pick the one closest to you, if that's applicable, or closest to your audience, if they're in a different location to where you are. If your audience is in the US and you are based in the UK, pick a US-based server. It's going to be faster for your audience. For my example, though, I'm simply going to go ahead and choose London. And then once we've done that, all we need to do is check the pricing down the bottom. You can see this is going to cost us $26 a month, but you also see it gives us an hourly charge. So if we need to scale up or scale down, and we might only need to do it for a day or two, well, that hourly charge means that we can only pay for what we actually use. We don't get the full amount for the month, even if we only use it for two or three days, which is pretty cool. So once we've got everything set up, we're going to click on Launch Now. And that's going to take a few minutes to go ahead and launch our server, install our application, which is WooCommerce, and get everything ready. So I'm going to leave that go ahead. Once it's finished, we'll come back and take a look at where we are. So now our server has been set up. Let's take a quick look at it, and then I'll show you how easy it is to scale. Now, at the moment, if we've got our server, if we click to open this up, there's all the server details. If we switch over to Applications, you can see there's my store, the store that was set up when we just created our server and set what application we wanted. So there's WooCommerce all set up and ready. If we click to open this up, you can see there's our WooCommerce store ready for us to go ahead, customize this and do what we want. And we'll take a quick look in a moment how easy it is to get Astro Pro for free for the first year. So let's head back over into our server setup. Let's switch back to servers. And let's go ahead and take a look at how easy it is to scale our server. All we need to do is select it. Come down to vertical scaling, 
And in there, you can see this now gives us basically a simplified version of what we had right back at the beginning when we chose what server, what server size resources, and so on. So all we need to do now when we're ready to go live or where we want to increase this or decrease this based upon Black Friday or Cyber Monday or any other reason you want to fluctuate with your sales. You can simply go ahead, choose the settings that you want. It'll tell you how much that's going to be on an hourly basis and on a monthly basis. You simply hit scale now and that's going to go ahead and scale your store. When you're ready to roll it back or push it even further, you can simply come back into your vertical scaling, set it to whatever you want, hit the scale now option. And again, that's going to work in exactly the same way. If you want to increase your storage, for example, you may want to put a lot of new content on there or to handle all those excess orders, you may need to increase the storage space you've got. To do that, all you need to do is click on the block storage and choose what storage settings you want from the sliding scale there. It's incredibly easy and works in the same way as the vertical scaling for your server settings. So very, very easy to do. Now, once you've got the server configured the way you like, you may want to go ahead and use the Astra Pro theme and all the options that come with it for free for the first year. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do that. Let's go to the little Rubik's Cube symbol at the top. We're going to click on there and we're going to come down to add-ons. You can see at the bottom we have Astra Pro. We're going to go ahead and enable this. So we're going to click to edit it. We're going to click on subscribe, but don't worry, that's only after the first 12 months. And this is for unlimited websites. So if you have this on multiple sites, it's only going to cost you $4 per month after the first 12 months. So let's go ahead and click on subscribe. So as you can see, after a few moments, we now have Astro Pro enabled. If we want to edit our subscription, we can click on the little pencil icon and at any point we can unsubscribe from this. So after the first 12 months, if you're not using it, you can simply unsubscribe. Simple as that. Okay, so let's close that down. Let's head back over to our applications and let's go ahead and take a look at my store. So all the details we need are now listed inside here. And if you want to migrate over, there's one free migration when you set up an account. So if you are migrating an existing store over, you can do that for zero cost through your control panel. So if you go ahead, click on the migration tools, download and follow the instructions that are going to take you step by step through migrating your store over to your new Cloudways server. And that's how easy it is to go about setting up your server and going through the process of scaling it when you need to. Perfect for Black Friday or Cyber Monday or any other time you're expecting a nice spike in sales and traffic to your website. As always, all the applicable links for everything I've covered are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.